Good morning from Florida. I'm going to give you uh, the ABCs on how I make salsa servers nowadays and why I do what I do. Uh, first of all, I use one and a half pounds of clay per bowl. I throw the bowl to three and a half inches tall by five inches wide. And then at soft, leather hard, I turn the foot. And when I turn the foot, I just turn it round. I don't make an actual foot. I just round off the corner, make it flat. And then I take my finger and burnish the bottom so that it won't scratch anybody's table. At that same time, I put them together by pressing them against each other, picking them up and putting them back down and sort of squishing them a little bit flat onto the wood surface. So I hold them together and then I give them a little push, just a gentle push so that the bottom flattens out a little bit because it was perfectly round before. Also, when I throw them, I give them, oh, a nice wide inside floor. When they're thrown, the bowls are thrown, I'd say the inside floor is almost four inches wide before I pull up the walls. After I squish them together, I pull them back apart and score and slip only in the areas where I see that it's been flattened. Oops, it's weird in this area here where it's flattened. I only score and slip that little teeny area there, but I do it a lot, a lot of scoring, a lot of slip. Then I put them back together, pick them back up again, and set them back down again. And using my fingers, I go this way to adhere them. And oftentimes a little bit of the goo comes out and I wipe it off got to connect them really, really well so that they don't come apart. Once I do that step, they sit on a wear board and they completely dry on that wear board because I do not move them again until they're bone dry and ready to go into the kiln. Now, the handle, I prefer to pull it and have it be low to the salsa server. There's maybe an, a half an inch. And the reason I do that is I've made big handles before and they get knocked and they break. So the lower it is, the longer the salsa server will last on this planet. And it's actually plenty to pick it up with. So that's the ABCs of how I make my salsa servers. I use clay generally from high water clay. My favorite is speckled brown stoneware, Bella's Blend. Um, I do like uh, Standard, I believe makes the 266 black, but generally speckled brown stoneware or Bella's Blend are my two favorite. I fire to bisque 04 and I fire to glaze six, uh, 5 and sometimes 6. Don't even know what I do myself, do I? Primarily 5, hold for 15 minutes at the end. Sometimes I fire to 6 if I'm using glazes that need to go to 6. So I've said this before, but this is pale seaweed over mottled green transparent. This is indigo float over Turkish amber. Oh yeah, I make the little swirls in the center of the bowls, but you know all that's just your own particular style. And this one is frosted turquoise over pippin green. Thanks for watching.